Welcome everybody and let's shoot to our topic today on division in inverse Laplace transform. So here is a theorem ready for you and the statement states that if inverse Laplace transform of f of s is equal to f of t then inverse Laplace transform of f of s by s here if you see f is in denominator so that means that it is the division by s. So f of s is divided by s. Then you have to make one integration that is integral 0 to t f of t into dt. So we get f of t from inverse Laplace tra transformation of f of s. If you find inverse Laplace transform of f of s, we will get f of t. So here is the inverse Laplace transform of f of s by s is equal to integral 0 to t f of t into dt. So if f of s is divided by 2 times by s, so you have to integrate for 2 times. So you have to integrate for twice. So this is how you have to remember the division theorem. So if it's multiplication, then s into f of s, then you have to make a derivative. If it's division, you have to make integration. That is the only difference you have to keep it in mind and move on. Here are a few examples for you. So by seeing and by looking at the question itself, you can tell that it's division by s. So f of s is clearly uh, divided by s. So it is a very easy indication that whenever you see s, in the denominator you have to follow the division theorem so that you have to integrate for one time if it's dividing f of s for one time and if it's dividing for two times you have to um, integrate for twice so let's get started with the problems so it is very easy you have to derive it for integrate it for one time see how well solve this so here is a problem for you so i'll make 1 by s into 1 by s plus 2. So, this is f of s. So, I will solve inverse Laplace transform of f of s. That is inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus 2. As you all know from the elementary functions that inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s minus a is equal to e power a d. So, how I can write this? This I can write as e power minus 2 t. So, my f of t is ready with e power minus 2t. Now, what I have to do? I have to go with division theorem. What the division theorem states? So, according to the division theorem, we have inverse Laplace transform of f of s by s is equal to integral 0 to t f of t into dt. f of t into dt. So, now I will integrate f of t. So, integral 0 to t. See, what is f of t? f of t is nothing but e power minus 2t. That is e power minus 2t into dt. So, as you all know, the integration of e power a t is nothing but e power a t by a. Here are the limits 0 to t. If I substitute the limits, t in place of t and minus of minus plus e power 0 by 2. See, if I take 2 as common, so, it will be e power minus 2t and anything to the power of 0 is 1. So, what is the final answer? That is 1 minus e power minus 2t. See, this is how we got the answer using division theorem. See, once again, f of s I have taken as 1 by s plus 2. And after applying inverse Laplace transform, I got f of t as e power minus 2t. So, here f of s is divided by s for one time. Therefore, I have to integrate uh, f of t for one time. So, after integrating and substituting the upper limit and the lower limit. So, I got the final answer as half times of 1 minus e power minus 2t. So, this is so easy and there is another problem. See, this is of a different kind. So, I am taking s square plus 2 by s into s square plus 4. See here, inverse Laplace transform of s square plus. See the 4 I can write as 2 I can write as 4 minus 2. Will you agree? So this 2 I am writing as 4 minus 2. That is s into s square plus 4. If you observe this one. So I am making 
एस स्क्वेर प्लस टू माइनस टू बाय एस इनटू एस स्क्वेर प्लस फोर दैट इज इन्वर्स लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एस स्क्वेर प्लस फोर into s into s square plus 4 as one factor and it is 2 by s into s square plus 4 as another term so if i cancel this what will happen it will be inverse laplace transform of 1 by s times of this is see here s square plus 4 here s is dividing f of s see this s is dividing f of s so what i have to do so, I am taking inverse Laplace transform of 1 by S minus here for one division I have to integrate for one time inverse Laplace transform of F of S. What is this F of S? F of S is nothing but 2 times of 1 by S square plus 2 square of dt according to the division theorem. That is inverse Laplace transform of 1 by S integral 0 to t. This is nothing but see as you all know it is inverse laplace transform of a by s square plus a square is equal to sin a t if i substitute here it will be sin 2 t into d t so what it will be sin 2 t into d t so integral 1 by s is nothing but 1 minus integral um, sin t is nothing but minus cos 2t between the limits 0 to t that is 1 minus if I substitute the upper limit it will be minus cos 2t and minus of minus cos 0 that is 1 minus minus of cos 2t plus 1 as you all know that cos 0 is 1 so that is 1 plus cos 2t minus 1 is the answer so here so by mistake that is for sine t it is minus cos 2t by 2 so i have to write 2 everywhere here so after writing everywhere so it will be 1 minus half plus cos 2t by 2 so 1 minus half is nothing but half times of cos 2t by 2 and if i take half as common it will be 1 plus cos 2t this is how we have to solve using the division theorem See once again back to the beginning. So this is the question of another model that is inverse Laplace transform of s square plus 2 by s into s square plus 4. So in place of 2 I am writing 4 minus 2. So I am splitting it into two parts. Here what is left over inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s minus 2 times of s times of s square plus 4. Here you have to apply division theorem. So, what the division theorem states integral 0 to t inverse Laplace transform of f of s. What is this f of s? That is sin 2t. If I make integration, it is minus cos 2t by 2 between the limit 0 to t. And after applying upper limit minus lower limit, so it is equal to, as you all know that cos 0 is, how much it is? Cos 0 is 1. So, if you, so this one. So, cos 0 is 1. If I apply here, so it will be plus half. So, 1 minus half is nothing but half and cos 2t by 2. This is the final answer after applying the division theorem. So, this question is of another model. See here. So, what I have to take? So, 1 by s into 1 by s square plus 2 is plus 2. If you see inverse Laplace transform of f of s, if I make, it will be inverse Laplace transform of s squared plus 2s plus 2. So, what it will be? Inverse Laplace transform of 1 by this can be written as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So, 2 I have split into 1 plus 1. So, this is of the form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So, if I write b square, so I can write as a plus b whole square plus 1 square. So, I have to apply which theorem I have to apply? First shifting theorem. As you all know from the first shifting theorem, inverse Laplace transform of f of s minus a is nothing but e power a t into f of t. If I apply that, see it will be e power minus t inverse Laplace transform of s square plus 1. 
So what is the inverse Laplace transform of s square plus 1? It is a sine t. So I got my f of t value ready. So f of t value I got as e power minus t into sine t. So after getting this one f of t what I have to do? So here if I go to the question here f of s is divided by s. So I have to use the division theorem. So that is s times of s square plus 2s plus 2. If I go with the division theorem, what the division theorem statement states? Integral 0 to t f of t into dt. If it's divided by one time, so you have to make integral 0 to t f of t into dt. So which is equal to integral 0 to t. What is f of t? e power minus t into sin t into dt. Here, there is an another formula for you. So, e power ax into sin bx dx is nothing but. So, remember, it is e power ax by a square plus b square. This is common. Start with a and end with b. Here, it is sin bx. So, go with sin bx and then cos bx. This is minus. So, what is this formula? e power ax a by a square plus b square a sin bx minus b cos bx. In this formula, if I apply, so a will be minus 1 here and b will be plus 1. If I substitute in this formula, it is e power minus t. This is a square. I am applying here plus b square. I am going with a sin t minus cos t. Only this, this much. 0 to t. So, upper limit minus lower limit. If I am substituting t in place of t, as it is, it will come as 2. Uh, this is minus sin t. This is minus cos t. If I go with minus, uh, if I go with uh, lower limit, it will be 0 times of 2. Sin 0 is, see here, sin 0 is 0 and this is cos 0. So, as you all know, that is e power minus t by 2, that is minus sin t minus cos t. See here, it will be 0 and it will be 1. So, the value of cos 0 is 1. So, this is half times of minus 1. So, it will be e power minus t by 2 minus sin t minus cos t plus half. If I take half as common, it will be 1 minus e power minus sin t, that is a sin t plus cos t. So, this is how we have to solve this kind of problems. So, this is of another model. See, so I have taken inverse Laplace transform of f of s. So, I have brought it in the form s plus 1 whole square plus 1 square. So, I have applied first shifting theorem. And after solving, it is e power minus t into sin t. Our f of t is ready here. So, we have to apply the division theorem. So, we have to integrate this for one time. So, this is the formula you have to use. And this formula is also very easy. And after applying and after putting the upper and lower limits, see here it is cos 0, 1. So, don't ever feel that I have cancelled it. I have written cos 0 value as 1. In place of cos 0, I wrote 1. As there is minus here, that is minus 1. So, after substituting and calculating, I got this value. So, the last model. As you can see, here also f of s is divided by s. So, what is f of s? So, I am taking inverse Laplace transform of f of s as I have to leave this s for some time. So, inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s square minus 1 into 1 by s square plus 1. So, if I resolve into partial fractions, so I can write it as half times of c 1 by s square minus 1 minus 1 by s square plus 1. If you take LCM and uh, cross multiply, you will get the ever value. So, for my convenience, I am writing. So, I am keeping half. And I am taking inverse Laplace transform inside. That is inverse Laplace transform of s square plus 1. So, you already know from the elementary functions that um, inverse Laplace transform of um, 
ए स्क्वेर बाई एस स्क्वेर प्लस ए स्क्वेर इज नथिंग बट साइन एच ए टी एंड इनवर्स लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ सॉरी दिस इज ए बाई एस स्क्वेर माइनस ए स्क्वेर इज प्लस ए स्क्वेर इज नथिंग बट साइन ए टी सो हैव टू टेक दिस स्क्वेर सो इफ आई कैंसिल इट वॉट इट विल बी हाफ टाइम्स ऑफ साइन एच टी माइनस दिस इज so this is also sin this is a sin t so my f of t is ready with half times of sin h t minus a sin t so now i have to go with the division theorem see what the division theorem statement states so what the division theorem statement states division theorem what the division theorem statement states is inverse laplace transform of f of s by s is equal to integral 0 to t f of t into dt so if i apply in this that is inverse laplace transform of 1 by s into s square minus 1 into s square plus 1 so integral 0 to t what is f of t this whole value is f of t that is half times of sin h t minus sin t of dt so if i take half as common it will be 0 to t that is sin h t minus sin t of dt then what is the value here for sin t it is again cos t integration for sin t it is minus cos t so minus of minus plus cos t between the limits is 0 to t so if i substitute the upper limit it will be the same in place of t i have to write t minus this is cos h0 minus cos 0 so the half times of cos h t plus cos t minus 1 into minus 1 that is half times of cos h t plus cos t minus 2 so this is the final answer so for each model i have solved so you can do with the help of these videos you can do many more problems see here so this is resolving into partial fractions so after resolving into partial fractions after applying the inverse laplace transform i got f of t as half times of sin ht minus sin t so after applying the division theorem and i have to integrate this f of t for one time so here it is very easy that integration and substituting the upper limit minus lower limit i got the value as half times of cos ht plus cos t minus 2 so that's all for today and my final quote today is success comes only when you practice consistently but not occasionally so i suggest you to practice consistently stay tuned until i post my next video on conformal mapping so the my next video will be most important one so stay tuned until then and please subscribe share and leave a comment below and thank you